Taylor, oh. Macy, hi. Lovely to meet hey, you. Hey, how are you? Hey, what a great think? name, Showbiz Shelly. You like that? Awesome. I know it's very catchy, right? So it is. Um, <laughs> so you guys, I have to say, um, I got this in my email this morning. The Kissing Booth, the number one movie in all of America. How do you feel about wow. that on Netflix? Wow, that's so yes. awesome. I know, Macy, I, tell me more. How do you? Feel? I mean, I'm just so proud. It's you know, it's always nerve wracking doing a follow up film because the odds are stacked against you with follow up films. And when we were creating it and reading it you know, there's these moments when we look at each other and we're just like, this is, this is even better. Somehow I think this is better. You go, you go deeper into the world. There's so many other storylines. Yeah. There's, you know, these new characters. And, but then you're always nervous about how the world is going to perceive it. So I'm just so glad that it's been well received, especially because the car, like everyone involved in this project are such good people. And so it's just, you know, it's, it's nice when good things happen to good people. So I'm so happy for everyone involved. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, Taylor, go ahead. Oh, I, I completely agree. My my brother, uh, the day after he saw it, called me and goes, Taylor, you know, I I really hate sequels. The only sequels that I think were any good were, were Shrek 2, the second Pirates of the Caribbean, and Kissing Booth 2. <laughs> so, so I pleased him, which which was good. I we we impressed him. And it's it's so exciting to be number one in the United States. I heard we were number one in, in Spain as well. Like I just I am we're taking over the world and in England oh, okay. as well my family said apparently yeah that's gotta be so cool and so I mean it, it had to have been nerve-wracking though because the first one was successful and so then for you guys to come in as sort of like these new cast members for the kissing booth too I mean Taylor what was that like were there nerves what were the feelings going into it yeah I mean it's very intimidating especially you know Joey coming off of the act on Hulu um knowing that that this was one of the like most favorite or just the favorite movie on Netflix um, and the fandom is crazy that I was a little nervous you know going into this well-oiled machine you know I didn't know if Joel and Joey were going to be as great as they are uh, so we had like a week and a half of dance rehearsals together we got to grab dinners together we drove each other home we just became like the best of buds and then we went to South Africa and met Maisie and Megan and the rest of the South African cast and it was just kind of love at first sight and everyone made you feel so at home. And you know, all of these the on-screen um, drama that you see between the OMGs and L and Lee and stuff like that is is completely gone in real life. And everyone is just so supportive. Yeah. Maisie, did you have a favorite moment of filming this movie? Because it seemed like so much fun and like you guys all got so close. And just even based on what you're saying, did you have a favorite moment? It was so such a special time. Um, my favorite moment of, of my scenes was the pool scene. I got to play pool because I trained real hard to get to that point. I was training you with did. this world champion and it was so much fun. Um, and I got to do it you and I did all the shots. Your pool, like your actual Yeah, yeah. No, I was training like three times a week because it's, it's a muscle. You can't, so I have to, you have to keep that muscle oiled and it's like geometry and learning how to do all these trick shots and then also doing the lines. And, you know, when you're filming a scene, you're doing it for three hours sometimes for that scene, maybe two, two and a half. So you're doing it again and again and again. And it was just really satisfying to learn a new skill and be able to put it into action like that. But then that I wasn't in, the dance competition was definitely my favorite scene. I, I love that scene. I know. I was going to say, Taylor, that looked like, were you a good dancer before and you had to like, just sort of like clean up your moves a little or did that take <laughs> a lot of work? Because you made it look super easy. I mean, I think either way, it took a lot of work because the amount of, the amount of dances that we had to learn uh, because, you know, as you saw, there's about three rehearsal scenes throughout the film. So each one of those was a different part of the dance that we had to have little extra, um, extra special moves for each one as we're learning, uh, learning for the competition. Then we had the best where we, you know, we do the duel and I say, you have to babysit my sister. And then we have lost in the wild uh, for the competition. So it was a lot, like five to six hours a day of, of, of rehearsing and I'm, I'm pretty sure my choreographers wanted to kill me because I'm like hey just like one more just one more just one more <laughs> and they were they were making me videos every day sending me videos of me like you know and and honestly every day was a review with Vince you know I, I would send him a video hey this is what we worked on today for scene you know 34 and he goes okay don't like this don't like this um send me another one tomorrow oh, that's, <laughs> cool. so that's so intimidating yeah. That yeah, is. it was 
Um, so really quick, I think both you guys have such interesting backgrounds. So first, Macy, you have, you majored in archaeology, is that right? Yeah, archaeology and anthropology. And anthropology. So like, how then did you transition from that into acting? Well, it's funny because to me, it felt really organic because, you know, anthropology is a study of human societies and culture throughout history. Yeah. And acting is stepping into the feet, you know, into the body of other people from whole different experiences. Um, so I actually feed quite a lot from my anthropology and archaeology into my acting um, in my preparation. Um, but I, yeah, I always wanted to act. My parents are both actors and recommended that I get a degree in something to have an option. Um, and I saw that Oxford has a really strong drama department as well. And a lot of people do still go into acting. So that was why I chose Oxford and anthropology because it, I just find it fascinating and I wanted to do something which really stretched my brain while I was also hoping to go on to acting as well. Oh, that's a good point. And Taylor, you have a swimming background and also you're from Chicago. Am I right on that? Yes. Because we're, I'm yes. in Chicago. So, hey. yes. So I don't know yes. if I mentioned that, but yeah. So tell me about that and growing up in Chicago. Sure. So my family is from Chicago. Uh, and then when I was younger, we moved over to the southern tip of uh, Lake Michigan, uh, yeah. Northwest Indiana. So a lot of, you know, we live in, we lived um, for a majority of my life in the region, uh, we called it. So we were all things Chicago, nothing Indianapolis. And I would go to work with my dad, work in the body shop um, on the South side. And it just was, um, you know, I love Chicago. Uh, I think we had, we had a conversation earlier about like my favorite stuff and you know, my favorite places to go. And like, it's like a G Gino's East just opened here in Sherman Oaks. Oh, really? There's, yes, they came out here. Uh, okay. And, you know, I like, Giordano's and Illuminati's and Rick Benny's and Taste of Chicago and just like the food uh, the, and the, the, the portions of food in Chicago, I mean, are just unheard of. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Is the <laughs> um, dish a real Chicago thing? Like, do you get it everywhere yes. or is it just oh, outside? Yeah. Okay. You, but yeah. you, you have to vet it. You can't just order deep dish anywhere you go because sometimes you'll cut it, you'll get a slice and then the cheese just kind of falls out or like it's runny and it, it's a, you got to do your research. You know, you can just Ooh, text Give me. me the tips, Tay. Yeah, yeah we're going, Maisie. Let's we're go. 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 I'm so excited. You guys will have to post about it on social. Yeah, we're very picky about our pizza. So you'll have to teach all your yeah. Sherman Oaks friends about it because totally a lot to learn. Yeah. So you guys, well, thank you so much. It was so great to talk to you. The Kissing Booth 2, out on Netflix now. And I hear 3 yes. has already been filmed. Is that right? Yes, coming yes. in 2021. Awesome. OK, so we'll look forward to that. Thank you guys so much. Thank nice you. So nice to meet Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.